So my name is James and I've worked in the unit for over eight years. So far you'll have seen how we process our samples and put them into resin blocks. The next stage we want to be able to look at what our tissue contains under the microscope. So we would use an ultramicrotome to take thin sections of our tissue uh, to be able to stain them. I've put our resin block with our piece of tissue into my microtome and at the moment I'm using a glass knife and to take semi-thin sections. Each time the sample passes the edge of the knife, it will be taking a small sliver of tissue, which we'll then be able to pick up and look at. And looking down the eyepieces. Now see our sample moving past the edge of a glass knife. After each pass, a semi-thin section is taken and floated onto a boat of water held at the back of the knife. Each semi-thin section is around 300 nanometers thick. We can tell this by the colour of the resin, in this instance a purpley green colour. These sections can be collected and dried onto a glass slide for further staining. Using the standard light microscope, the sample can be checked for quality in any areas of interest. Here, the kidney sample has been stained blue. The area highlighted in red shows a glomerulus, which will be investigated for disease by transmission electron microscopy. Once we have identified our area of interest, we can return to the ultramicrotome. This time we are using a diamond knife to cut ultra-thin sections of the sample, approximately 90 nanometers thick, giving a gold and silver colour. To make sure the sections are flat, chloroform vapour is used to soften the resin. The water tension under the sample then stretches the sample out flat. Using an eyelash, we can manipulate our sections and collect them onto a metal grid. We need to support our sections on this grid as the resin is so thin. The sample can then undergo one final stain before being taken to the transmission electron microscope. 